I'm Dr. Eggman, the greatest scientific genius of the world. The Batgirl Rouge joined our forces and we came back to Prison Island. We came here to locate the Chaos Emerald. It is stored somewhere in the military research facility. I will go first to distract the troops. <laughs> then we will carry out our plan. Rushing into the military base. Hey all you people, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And in the previous episode, we pretty much just did some more story crap, and we got an upgrade, so that is pretty cool. And this episode, I actually now have in my possession a controller for my computer, so that's going to make this whole thing a whole lot easier, or at least I hope it will, just because I'll be able to control this more precisely, I guess, than when using just a keyboard. That is going to be nice. Um, here is Eggman's upgrade for this level. Large cannon. Now he can break iron containers. Which means we can get the upgrade for him in his first level. Uh, whose name currently escapes me. I think it's Iron Gate. But I can't be 100% certain. So this weapon... Uh, this weapon... What? No, this, this level, weapons bed, is kind of shitty, in my opinion. It's... Just Metal Harbor, but not fun. And where Metal Harbor had, like, a really cool, awesome, soft song, this has a kind of, like, shitty, boring version of that song. Because if you actually listen to it, it kind of sounds a little bit like the Metal Harbor theme. Which I do think is a pretty cool little nod, but at the same time, it would have been nice if they came up with a better sounding thing. This is probably one of the worst Eggman levels, in my opinion. Uh, I believe my least favorite is Lost Colony or Sand Ocean, or a tie between the two. Because those two... Well, Sand Ocean is at night and it has to do really stupid platforming crap with Eggman. And then Lost Colony is just super boring and really dark. So, overall both of those levels suck. This one's pretty bad too, but it's at least terrible. Because, as you've seen, you can kind of speed through it pretty easily. Because, again, if you- oh! Okay, that was all my fault. Oh, there goes my decent rank. Oh no, I'm not starting from all the way back here, am I? Yes, I am. Man, that is why I freaking hate this level. Okay, here we go. Just have to go around again roll around at the speed of sound. Okay. Come on, game. You can look at this enhanced controller. I'm still having trouble with friggin' Eggman platforming. Okay, here we go. Now we're about to reach where we were before. That'd be nice. Also, what is happening? That is happening. Glitchy camera? Course. It's like a staple of this game. Just a glitchy ass annoying camera. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I guess I'll get these ones this time. Extreme! Jammin! Isn't this jammin' and extreme? I think so. Let's see what we got for that. Cool! That was cool! Okay, this is where we died, I think. Or that. Radical! Like a highway. Okay. Finally another checkpoint. I don't know, maybe, maybe the last checkpoint actually wasn't too far back. I just kind of took forever. Okay, there we go. Wow, this level is really heavy on the item bubble things. I don't know what to call those. I wouldn't call them like item containers, but they're just kind of bubbles. Okay, that almost killed me. That would not have been fun. Can you break those boxes? Yeah, you can. Okay. The running start. Let's go. And next 
checkpoint. That's weird. Those checkpoints are really close to each other. Okay, I think we're coming up on the end right here. I don't know. I, this level is almost as forgettable as Sand or not Sand Ocean, uh, Lost Colony. Oh, we got a phoenix. That phoenix is one of the rare animals that you can get for Chow, so we're gonna have to bring it to them or to our Chow as soon as possible. Because the rare animals, like the phoenix, dragon, and I believe unicorn, those all boost the Chow's stats by a lot, and they rarely actually lower a stat. I believe that the Phoenix is the only one that doesn't lower a stat, though I might be wrong. It might be the dragon. I'm not sure. Let's see, probably like a C. No, an E. Oh yeah, probably because it's death. Because of death. Okay, 22. And now for something completely the same. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! Oh, on with the show. Oh, okay. I'd never see you again. I'm so glad you made it. Oh god, <laughs> Shadow was shaking so hard there. He's like, oh my god, what the fuck? Is he smiling? No, he isn't. Yes, he is. Oh my god. Friggin' Shadow. <laughs> what even? Sometimes when Shadow smiles, it's just disturbing, but this I mean, it was hilarious. Also, Eggman with his goggles on looks really fucked up. What the hell? Oh, shit. It's Tails and his Tornade. Also, you can see, like, the edge of the water map at the top left corner there. It's pretty good. T-A-I-L-S. Tails. P3A Tornade. Okay, so this is exactly the same as Tails' version of the fight. You just walk up to him and you hit him repeatedly until he dies. Oh god, this might actually- I might lose. No, I won't. I want something, something, Eggman! So no, you weren't. You were nowhere near it. Fox boy. Every boss has a weakness point, guys. Oh man, this is my favorite Rouge level here. This one is ripe for speed running. Like my record on this, I think is I don't know, under a little under 50 seconds. So this level is called Security Hall, and basically you're just trying to break into the military's awesomeness in order to get three Chaos Emeralds. Rather than actual Master Emerald shards, you're actually getting the Chaos Emeralds, which is pretty cool and a bit unusual. Though it hasn't not happened before. Okay, I'm doing horribly on this level right now. Okay, well all I know is that there's an emerald somewhere around here. Wow, okay. I am not doing very well at all. Oh, it's gotta be close. So that means it's right around here. Oh, I see. Is it here? Oh, no, it's right there. Ruth, there we go. Damn it, I only got an awesome. I kinda wanna restart the level. I will. Because I actually want to get a really good score on it. Okay. I doubt that's going to be in the same spot as before. Yeah, no. It, they, don't, they don't do that. That's, that would be kind of unfair. Okay. I'm probably not going to do very well, because just like when I first played this, I'm moderately rusty, so that's kind of a problem. Okay. So the easiest way to get through this level fast is to just kind of comb it. So you just kind of go around the level until you see the emerald radar begin to blink like this. Then from there you just kind of search that whole area until you find what you need. And if it's only like high up like that, what you're going to want to do is get down here and jump up. because. There's actually an upper section to this. It's pretty cool. It's a multi-tier level. Oh, shut the hell up, Eggman. No one wants to hear your stupid everything. Okay, so the next emerald is gonna be somewhere around here. Oh, it's within an enemy. There we go. That right there, that switch, I believe affects. Uh, what vaults and safes are open. But I don't think it'll matter. I think the next emerald is actually up here. 
and I think I am correct there. Also, this level can be slightly annoying just because of all the lasers going around. Oh, I see the third one, but how am I going to get to it? Um, a minute and 45 seconds on the clock. I'm doing pretty horribly. Definitely not my best work. Okay, here we go. So, I believe that the way we're going to do it is just jump up here and there. Okay. And if this doesn't get me an A rank, I don't know what will. But pretty much strategy for the level, just comb it and Perfect, collect like the me? emeralds. It's There aren't a lot of places for the emeralds to be, so unless you happen to get one that's inside of a safe that isn't opened, you should be good, and you should be able to finish the level quickly. Also, she just ran through a ring without doing anything. Without actually collecting it. R1 slash A, flying dog. So... Uh, from Omo Chow's words of wisdom, we've learned that every box has a weakness point, so this boss's weakness point is right there. Now, this boss is basically the same as Sonic and Shadow's version, but it's a million times easier because Rouge is really, really agile, like Knuckles. So, pretty much you just go around and then bam. You do that over and over and over again until the boss is dead. Because... Again, every boss has its weakness point, just like every rose has its thorn. So, this boss's weakness point would of course be this thing, the windshield area. There we go. This flying dog can't be destroyed! Uh-uh-uh, you didn't listen to Omo Chow. Every boss has its weakness point. Come on. It's basic knowledge, right this there. I've got a small problem. No, you don't, because every boss has a tweakness point. I locked safe with a chaos emerald. <laughs> I guess I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter anymore. So, because you're going to die, you you're not a treasure hunter. That that makes lots of sense, of course. Then again, every boss has a tweakness point. I guess Rouge is just dying. I guess that would imply that she's a boss, though. Gonna check my check my phone during this because I have a I got a text from someone. Oh, okay, cut through the jungle in ten minutes. This is White Forest Shadows version of uh, Green. Oh wait, no, this is White Jungle Shadows version of Green Forest. So this is pretty much the same as Green Forest, really. Not much is different at all. You just kind of go through. You have a time limit. Like, it's more or less the same level. Uh, the design is really similar, too, and we'll run into a couple sections that look a lot like areas, like in, uh, what's it called? Um, Green Forest. Okay. Oh my god, I'm totally messing up. Okay, so using a controller is nice and all, but when this kind of thing happens, it's not. And by this kind of thing, I mean basically uh, I doing the spin dash, like super awesome trick that I showed you guys in previous episodes is kind of slightly more difficult with this controller, because the button is, is like, um, I don't know, it's, just, it's an Xbox 360 controller. Oh crap, something happened. I will be back in a small amount of time. A few moments later. Okay, I am sorry about that. Uh, my parents and brother just got home. They were out before, and they got home earlier than I'd expected, so... Sorry about that, but I am back now. And ready to- okay, that was weird as crap. That's what that was. You didn't know what that was. Now you know. Just as you didn't know that every boss has its weakness point, you probably didn't know whatever I was just saying. I actually had no idea what I was going for just now. Good! 100. Okay. Also, I noticed that this song that's playing right now is a slight remix of Sonic's theme from Sonic Adventure 1 pretty cool. I really like that song. Between his two themes, I prefer that one. So as you can see here, we could light dash, but we don't have the right thing. But we're gonna get that right here. Just drop down here, 
kill me. Oh wait, no, that's in Sonic's version, or maybe it's. I don't know. But we we get the air shoes. They're basically exactly the same as Sonic's white shoes. In fact, they are exactly the same. They just have a different name. And I guess they look different, but they don't... The light shoes, I don't think, change what Sonic's shoes look like either. Maybe they do. I don't know. I've never really paid attention to their shoes. I'm not like a foot fetishist. I don't, I don't pay attention to that kind of thing. Oh! You guys might have missed it, but Big the Cat was back there. <laughs> He's showing up in the weirdest places. Okay. And... Um... I believe if we come back here, there's like some secret... Yeah, no. That's um, where we find the Lost Shadow. But we're not going to be doing that. Yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it later in the Let's Play. I don't know. Also right there, you could get, I think, the third Shadow container. But here we're we not doing that either. Here we go! Says Shadow. I see. Looks kind of normal, neutral, I don't know. Let's see what we got like a B. No an A. Ultimate victory. Wow. <laughs> Ultimate victory. You heard it here first, folks. Ultimate victory. Oh man, I wish I'd read that. Hey, that's that blue hedgehog again of all places. Yep. I found you. Faker, Faker, oh my god. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough I'll to be my I'll make you eat those words! Best... thing... ever. S-O-N-I-C Sonic. Now, real Sonic. from Omo Chow's teachings, we know that every boss has its weakness point. Sonic's is getting killed, just like Rouge. So, you could say that Sonic and Rouge are, in effect, the same character. No time to hang out with the likes of you. That's like saying that there's no time to hang out with the likes of Rouge. So, Shadow is basically an asshole. And somehow, that whole thing only took about, what, a few minutes? Shadow, what are you doing? I'm pretty sure we took longer right than now, whatever time that was to beat the level and it? kill Sonic. Even oh, though you didn't die there. Rouge! Oh my god! Oh, you got a minute, Shadow. How the hell? It didn't even show the stupid chaos control stuff. Also, that probably chaos shouldn't take an control. entire minute. That's ridiculous. Whoa. Explosions everywhere. And this time it didn't show Tails getting away. Man, we're on the Ark. There's Earth. Shadow, what do you think it's like on Earth? I don't know, Maria. What the, the fuck do you think it's like on Earth? Earth? Was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. Shadow. Maria. Well, shit. I actually I don't know what to say to that. Anymore. I often wonder why I was created. What my purpose is for being here. Well, uh, don't want to spoil anything for you, Shadow, but your purpose is to cure Maria of a degenerative terminal disease that she happens to have. I think it's called, like, MIPS? NIDS? I don't know what it's called. I don't know, it, it's something I something S. Freaking Rouge using the long, big words for the kiddies who are playing this game. Melancholy. But your ability to use the chaos control certainly comes in handy. You know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the chaos emeralds. Yeah, yeah, but then again, that's not the whole story, is it? Best Everything voice clearing go. ever. Are you sure? The earth throat clearing have clearance six of the ever. Seven chaos emeralds, you know? It's more than enough for the demonstration. Is it shadow? So is it really? Show on the road. Wow. Oh my god, Eggman's face. That's like everyone's reaction. They're like, dude. Dude, bro. No. Once again, I'm not gonna lend Eggman his ears. And that's why he's, he's all upset and shit. Basically, he blew up the moon. Just gonna, just gonna say that. will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential, you'll need all seven Chaos Emeralds. Where in the world have you been? 
Yeah, where in the world haven't you been? Huh? Look at you, throwing a tantrum like a little kid. How totally embarrassing. Says the one who literally punches and pushes the air as she talks. We had a deal, right? So where is my emerald? Here you go. I found this. Why didn't you show me this before? This station square saved from a life-threatening missile attack. That's kind of extremely old news, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure by this point Sonic Adventure 1 happened a while ago, so I don't really... I don't know. Of course. Soon enough, Maria. Uh... Okay, well, now we're using Maria the Bat. Her name is no longer Rouge. So is Shadow, the one who repeatedly states and, like, freaking screams and yells that he's the ultimate life form. Rouge isn't sure if he's the ultimate life form or not. I mean, who knows? I'm picking up the yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this. Nope. Nope. Uh, how long has it has this been? I don't really know. This might be a really short episode or a long episode because I can't see how long I've been recording for, which is kind of dumb of me, and I'm sorry about that. I'm very sorry. But we are going to go through Iron Gate because we need to get Eggman's next upgrade. Intruder alert. Assume level one defense formation. Okay. So, back here again. The main mission here is to get 100 rings, but we're going to try not to do that until we've collected Eggman's upgrade, which is somewhere, somewhere in the level. Um, you know, actually, I'll be taking this. Oh my god, for Eggman. Okay, platform. There we go. Okay. Here we go. So the main way to get rings in this level, I believe, is those item would be those item container bubble things, which are of course littered everywhere throughout the level. And I love spinning around with Eggman. It's the best. This is the best thing ever. It's almost as cool as spinning around. With, I think it was. Who was it? Who I did that with? I think it might be either Tails or yeah, I think it was Tails at the end of, like, episode 3. Maybe it was episode 4. I don't know. I don't know what any of my episodes were like. Oh, is that... is that big? Yeah, there he is. Friggin' big. Can't really see him now, but... You could see him, and that's what counts. Nope, there he is. Just hanging off a ledge, about to die. We're not gonna help him now. Okay. This is where Eggman's upgrade is. So, we're gonna be getting that in just a second. That's where we collect the rings around here. Okay, so now that we are over here, we get the laser blaster. Now, this is a more powerful, like, laser missile thing. It's actually a lot more powerful. And it turns Eggman's shots green. It's really badass. Reason, who doesn't want, like, giant-ass green lasers, right? Get him! The first, the lady's like, get him! Okay, we're at 83 now, so we should be able to pick up the remaining rings in like a second. Yosh! And D rank, whatever. I'm not going for 100%, I'm just going for a decent number in order to make the chow really cool. Yeah, that was cool! Okay. So now we are here in the Chow world with Eggman outside of his mech. Again, best thing ever. So here we are going to use the Phoenix thing and all that crap. Uh, where are the bombs is the thing I'm looking for? That's not it. I think it is, at least. There it is! You... You get some stuff. Okay, so first it's gonna get this gorilla... piece of crap, whatever. Then it's gonna get this. 
Oh damn it. Keep on messing up the trick. Whatever. So this guy gets this. And this. And this. Ow. So much everything. Okay. And this. One of these days I'm gonna do one of the chow races. Because I think this one's ready. Okay. Here we go. The only thing he doesn't have is stamina, so... Whatever. I'm gonna go and try one out. Actually, maybe I'll do, I'll do Chow Karate. I think he might be able to win. No, I doubt it. Okay, we'll do the Chow Race. Plus, this takes less time, so... Okay, we'll do the Beginner Race. Uh, let's see, who has better stats? Uh, this one, but not by much. Decabby. <laughs> Decabby. Um, crab pool? Wait. Hold on. Their best stat is fly followed by run and power. So, I'd say block cannon would probably be the best one. Oh wait, no. Mushroom forest is running. Stump valley is flying. Okay. That's gonna be the one. So the chow races are really simple. All you do is you press A to cheer on your chow and they're running. And the amount of cheering you can do for your chow is determined by their stamina stat. Obviously our chow has really, really low stamina because it's at zero. So we may or may not be screwed here. Because all these other chows have been, or chow have been bred to perfection. So, this is a pretty simple thing. All it is is just Chow Awesoming. <laughs> chow Awesoming. Because awesome is a verb. Totally. Totes. But yeah, we just. We actually don't control anything. We just watch the Chow race. And if you cheer on the Chow, it just runs faster. Or climbs faster, or what have you. But it's really simple. All you do is you just beat all the other Chow and try to break your record. And by getting the highest, I, I believe, no, not the highest things, uh, by beating everything, you get a few emblems, so that's kind of important. By beating all of the levels of a particular track in, a, in the race, you get an item for, for the chow in the garden to use, but I believe those things can only be used in this specific garden. Now, what the hell is this? No, seriously, what is, is that a round fruit? Because I don't remember them looking like that in the GameCube version. I'm pretty sure they were yellow. Not like a sickly cabbage looking thing. Green. Yeah. How's this one stats? Oh, huh, it's not too bad. Okay. Okay, so when Chow decides not to eat, you force it to eat. There we go. Okay, so. Just to get this a little closer to neutral, we're gonna have Eggman shake the baby for a little bit. And if you if you look at his shadow right there, that looks really, really weird. Oh god, okay. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna jump out of here. Oh sweet, we can actually go into the garden now. That's cool. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna see if we can get anything from the black market. Because we now have a lot of rings. We can get eggs. That's pretty cool. Um... I kinda want a blue egg. We can get both of these. Yeah. Okay, well I'll start with this. It all starts with this, the jewel containing the ultimate power. And then... We're gonna hatch these two chow in the garden. And then I think we'll call it an episode. Okay, so basically chow eggs that are colored different in different ways will give you different kinds of chow. And by different kinds I mean like they'll look different. So what you do of course is you shake the baby, watch as Eggman's psychic powers activate allowing him to do this. He's just showing off really. Okay, let's see, is that gonna hatch anytime soon? There we go. And we get... A happy chow, I think. 
Let's see. It stops thinking. Yeah, we got a really happy chow. That's really nice. Okay. The first chow that we've hatched from the special egg is a happy one. That's really cool. I believe that the number of times that you shake the baby depend or determines uh, what kind of facial features they'll have. So, like, if you throw a chow at a wall, then it probably won't be very happy. Uh, this one, we got a really tired, unamused-looking chow. This is probably going to be one of my favorites. Both of these look really cool. So, I think we're going to take the... Uh, yeah, we'll take this blue chow to the, to the school, whatever, kindergarten first, so that we can see uh, what its stats are. And once again... You guys can name my Chow. Any of them. <clears throat> because obviously none of them have any good names, so yeah, it's just kind of a thing. Okay, let's see. Health results. DBCCC. That's not very bad, but it kind of sucks. Okay, a newborn. Oh my god. Summon the powers to be. How about honey? Nope. Nope. Yup. Okay, so I remember that as D, B, C, C, C. We're gonna make this one, like, um... Um... Is there, like, it, do any of these look like a not amused face? I guess we could go, like... Just kind of a, a neutral face. Yup. <laughs> That's the best name. Okay. Okay. So now that we've gotten this chow's stats, we will get the, the stats of the chow that hatched from the white egg, uh, which is right up here for whatever reason. I don't know how it could have gotten over there. Okay, the happy chow will be brought right over here. And... Oh my god, when Eggman runs, he like... Look at his back. Ugh. It's like whole, his whole coat like moves with his body. Well, I mean, obviously it will, but I mean like it's like it, it's connected to him. It's kind of creepy. Okay. Uh, B C D C B. Okay, so again, not not bad, but not great. Definitely better than- it, the, the stats are overall better than the other Chows, because it has two Bs and two Cs, instead of one B and three Cs. But, it's gonna take a couple of lives for it to actually uh, rank anything up to an S. So, it was... Uh, it was B, C, D, C, B, I think. Um, do that. I should do... Hmm... Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Just to double check. Let's check the health center again. B, C, D, C, B. That's what we've got. Okay. There we go. So we got two decent chow here. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to raise them. Uh, I'm probably gonna make this happy one a hero type, and the not amused one a uh, dark type. Or maybe I'll switch it up and do the reverse. I don't know. I don't know, actually... Dude, okay, that would actually look really badass, because what happens is, uh, when you get a dark type chow, it turns like a really dark purple, or like almost a black. Like, uh, yeah, no, it's like a really dark purple, I think. And so, like, if we had it... Just, if we had a white chow turn into, like, a really dark purple, that'd be so cool. No, if we had, like, this deep blue chow turn into, a, like, uh, a white and light blue hero chow, that would be cool. So, I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, the other two, this one and the other one over here, I think we're gonna try to get those to turn into neutral types. But, I don't know. The choice is yours. And with Eggman exiting the Chow Garden, we're gonna end this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And next time, I think we're gonna resume the hero story for a little bit, and then move to the dark story. Because I'm intending to beat the dark story first, just cause... <laughs> Eggman is massaging his scalp with his huge hand. Okay, so now there's no time for games. Farewell.